Well, hello, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I'm really excited. You know why? We got a new pedal to check out. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be checking out the Electro Harmonics Mainframe Bit Crusher pedal. I'm pretty stoked, man. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray. I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and I'm so excited to share this pedal with you all because this pedal is one of my quote unquote staples for my live rig. Yes, shows are finally coming back slowly but surely here in the United States and I've got two shows under my belt now in the summer of 2021. And uh, yeah, man, the mainframe is the pedal that I love to use the most in the set because it just creates a desired effect that, you know, you can only really emulate with a bit crusher and just it creates the most wild insane sound so ladies and gentlemen disclaimer alert this is a very lax and very informal video okay i know what this pedal does but i'm not going to dive too deep into it because i'm not really like a, a, a techie type of person a real nerd basically man this thing just makes your, your guitar sound sound like an old school game boy for those of you who are alive when game boys were a thing uh but yeah man this thing just you know it, it makes it sound like that lo-fi kind of bit crushed old school video game and i just love that so how today's video is going to work is I'm going to use my live rig. I'm going to reconfigure and reset up my room real quick. And I'm going to show you guys how I personally use this in front of people. And then I'm going to show you how to use it. And if you can use it in a, in a musical sense. Okay. So give me one second. I'll reset up and then we'll come back and we'll wrap up today's video. Okay. Sound good. Give me one second. All right, everybody. So this demo, this instruction of how I use the mainframe and what the mainframe does, it's going to go by pretty quick. All right. So uh, first off, I want to show you how I use the pedal and how I use the effect. Um, you know, real quick, here's my my pedal board, my rig, if you will. Um, this is tuned to drop F. It is a Squire Vintage Modified Baritone Jazzmaster, and all my pedals, to include the mainframe, is going into the front of this Stealth for today's video. Okay, so how I use the mainframe for when I play live is uh, <laughs> one effect, and uh, it's very subtle. And if you're not paying attention, you'll miss it. All right, so here's my stock sound. All right, now I'm gonna kick. I'm gonna kick on the mainframe and just pay attention. Like I said, if you're not, if you're not listening, you might miss it. All right, so here's my effect. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. I was, I, I, you know, I wrote that joke about like two days ago, and I've been so excited to use it. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. But yeah, man, basically, I just kicked this thing on uh, for several spots and breakdowns. But most importantly. Um, and most commonly at, during like dropouts um, and at the end of songs because at the end of songs what I'll do is I'll do something like this uh, at the end of inevitable I'll go And basically what I'm doing there is I just have it set up to, um, you know, however I got, I got this dialed in. Like I said, I don't really know what this thing does. Like, I don't know what bit depth and sample rate and all that stuff is. Basically, I got the blend knob turned all the way up 100%, volume up 100%. And then I'm tweaking with the frequency knob to, uh, you know, kind of give that sweep, that like kind of washy effect. And, uh, you know, here's a clip of me doing it live real quick. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's basically how I use this pedal, how I use it live and how I use it going forward uh, for the time being. But now let's say like, you know, you don't want to, um, you know, just create a bunch of noise and like turn some heads for better or for worse. Let's say you want to use it like as a quote unquote usable pedal. So first off, I'll just use my distortion channel, which I have right now, my blue channel, my stealth, and I'll dial back the blend knob and I'll start to try to use this in a more kind of musical sense. All right. So let's just start tweaking some knobs.
So I'm gonna stop right there. I really don't think this pedal is, uh, you know, suitable for like high gain tones. Um, you know, it, apart from like an absolute noisemaker, I don't know how musical it really is. Um, it's kind of gross sounding, like very gross sounding, but it's fun nonetheless. So what I'm gonna do real quick right now is just reconfigure, reset up real quick. I'm gonna use a clean channel and uh, try to get some like, I don't know, like some Game Boy sounds or like some lo-fi sounds. Something a little bit more, like I said, musical and dare I say practical, okay? So give me one second. All right, so I got a clean tone on my EVH amp now. And uh, basically, I'm just gonna show you what this thing does in, on a clean amp. Um, I don't know how musical it's gonna be, if it's gonna be any good or what, but uh, let's just try it out, man. So here's my clean tone. So ladies and gentlemen, what do we think of this pedal and how should we wrap up this video? Well, I think it does what I use it for insanely well, that is create an insane sound to turn some heads into just like, you know, be like, oh my God, what is that noise? But in terms of like, is it usable for music? Probably for somebody, but for me personally, no. Um, I'm not really a big lo-fi guy or anything like that. So this is totally like out of my realm on how to use this in a musical sense. But I know there's a ton of people out there who love this pedal for that. So it's like, you know, take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I sure as hell had a great time. This pedal is the staple of my rig. I love it so much. It's so much fun to step on. And uh, yeah, I just it's one of my favorite pedals I've ever played in my life. And I just appreciate you for hanging out with me for this video and allowing me to share it with you all. So ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for the mainframe video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed the tones, for better or for worse. I hope you just had fun. I sure as hell have fun every time I make a video. So I'm out of here. Thank you so much for one more time. I appreciate y'all. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay metal. See you guys next time. Later.